Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Decoding Respiratory Medicine. So this is in another video in which I am trying to decode TOKS exam of FCPS pulmonology. It's a very generic, it's going to be a very generic presentation and for all those who are giving the exam for the first time because I remember my time when I, when I was preparing for my FCPS exam, I literally had no idea what was the TOKS. So I try to decode it for you. So it's very generic information, uh, not entirely um, that these are the stations which are going to come in exam, but you can get a certain idea how to prepare or how to crack talks exam. Let's begin. So TOKS basically stands for a task oriented assessment of clinical skills. This is very important uh, to understand what they are asking you in the exam because your exam preparation should be according to what the examiner wants to ask you. So there are going to be a certain clinical case scenarios or skills which you have to uh, perform in a limited period of a time. TOKS was first introduced by a CPSP for pulmonology in 2018. So, and last year they said that uh, those candidates who fail in the TOKS component are not eligible to take the remaining part of the examination. So, you have to clear it in order to go for a long and short case. Uh, it, this information also vary, but generally the component of the examination consists of certain stations, uh, could be any number, but generally 15 to 18 and the timing vary between 4 to 8 stations per minute. This could also vary but uh, uh, before uh, th on the day of the examination they, they are going to tell you that these are the stations and this is the time uh, per station. It's usually arranged in a CPSP examination hall and the candidates have to rotate through all of them in turn by turn and the images are usually on the laptop. So this is the very important uh, topic that what what is the station topics, how to prepare for it. So as a pulmonologist as well and as a examine, exa, uh, as in for the preparation of exam as well, uh, the components of the topics are, uh, it could be a radiology, it could be a laboratory finding in the station they are asking you, some procedures, could be an instrument, uh, certain investigations like pulmonary function test could be a scenarios for infectious diseases. They can ask you about the latest trials or ILDs like in interstitial lung diseases. Could be anything. Uh, the examiner is very fond of uh, rare syndromes, not only the UK and American examiners, but also our Pakistan examiners are also very fond of rare syndromes, which we need to be like crack on for giving this exam. Then there could be a station for ACLS and BLS. Uh, I think every medical professional should know this. So it's, it's very important in the real life as well. Then uh, could be an ECG or a histology slide in which they are giving you one slide and asking you what are you seeing in the slide and how you are going to investigate it, give the differential diagnosis and how you're going to treat it. So in the procedure, they could ask you about uh, the bronchoscopy, how you are doing it, or what are the stations in EBUS, or what are the stations you can see in EUS uh, regarding uh, the lung cancer staging, like they can give you a scenario and ask you what is the staging and all. Then the treatment regimes, they are very important. I was looking at one of the old scenarios in which they, they could ask you, this is the weight of the patient and this is the age and write down the TB treatment. So it, it could be anything, not only a TB, so they can ask you a treatment regime of any of the diseases in respiratory. Then the, there could be a certain procedures like intubation. There could be a dummy there and they can ask you, like do an intubation on the dummy. Then very important case scenarios. Uh, these could be uh, the common diseases ca case scenarios or uh, the rare diseases case scenarios and they, they usually took it from the cases would be there then they ask you differentials, investigations and management.
then important topic ki you need to crack on is abgs and research related questions could also come like what is sensitivity what is specificity what is negative predictive value what is positive predictive value what is incident or prevalence so as a medical individual you should know about these as well then there could be a counseling station in which a rare patient like a real patient or a, um surrogate would be there and they can ask you like to counsel this patient regarding any of the treatments like if there could be any tb patient there and they are not willing to taking the medications you can be asking a questions and then counsel the patient that how important it is it, it's an example then sleep study or uh, any of the investigations could be there and you need to answer them so the images uh could be there like and reports could be there and you have to answer accordingly so as i said radiology what could come in radiology are bread and butter chest x ray they can give you a chest x ray and ask you directly what is what you can see how you are going to read this chest x ray what are the differentials or they can give you a scenario and then show you a chest x ray and then ask you how to how you can proceed it further on this findings uh there could be a ct scan there should there not could be a there is going to be a one ct scan because uh, as a pulmonologist this is our bread and butter and they can give you a case scenario and uh, maybe some signs important in, important uh ct scans could be there and they can ask you what you are going to what you are seeing in the ct scan and how you are going to interpret it and how you are going to proceed it further ultrasound images could be there now it's very common then anything in the radiology could become whatever we are dealing in day to day life like a pet scan vq scan scintographies whatever but uh, it's very important radiology is very important as a pulmonologist as well and in the for preparing for the exams as well so there is going to be a one station regarding radiology this is i think i'm sure then ecg this is also very important so they can give you a ecg and ask you uh, uh, to see the findings on it and uh, tell they could they can could ask you a differentials how you will be proceeding with this sort of ecg then nowadays i can see the f- uh, their, their favorite topic is the latest trials so it could be in lung cancer it could be in any of the diseases the famous trials uh, recently being published so um as a pulmonologist we should be aware of it and this is their favorite question then pfts as i as i said that in the pfts they are going to give you one report and they can ask you a differentials investigations how you will proceed what are the diagnosis and how are you going to treat this so cases with the questions regarding treatment and investigations like a case scenario for example there is a 54 years old gentleman who is coming with a pneumonia with a cough and this is the chest x ray and what's your diagnosis and how are you going to proceed it sleep study same diagnosis further investigation treatment options as i told the rare syndromes this is the favorite questions of uh, examiners not only our pakistan examiners but i think everywhere in the world whatever exam you are preparing for this is their favorite favorite question what they can ask you they can give you a scenario in the rare syndrome and then they can ask you make a differentials what you are thinking topmost diagnosis and how you are going to confirm it like what is the pinpoint uh, investigation for that diagnosis and how you are going to take this patient is there is any particular treatment options available or is there is any something latest management or treatment plan are coming up with related to that investigation so common infectious diseases scenario would be there they will ask you how you're going to proceed it how you are requesting investigations what are the treatment options available anything new coming up so for the acls and bls uh, i think uh, 
as a medical professional as well we are dealing with uh, we are doing acls and bls every day but step wise approach is very important especially when you are going to be judge and the marks are going to be given so how to do a cpr what could what should be the depth what what is the rate and uh, in case you have to intubate the patient dummy could be there and you have to show them how you will be proceeding there could be any machine there like an iv or cpap a machine could be there and they can ask you to adjust it or put on a mask on the patient anything could be there so very important what i have given my exam last year and what what i analyze it it is a difficult exam and uh, obviously after this exam uh, you are going to be treating patients so you have to be at certain level to clear this but by hard working you can crack it always expect something unexpected be be prepared for it there could be some unexpected stations as well but if you if you are uh, going through all the common uh, and expected one then i think uh, you you will clear it so conclusion there is only one tip prep exam oriented and work hard it will definitely pay off thank you for listening if you have any other question uh, don't hesitate to ask there are there are some resources so as this channel decoding respiratory medicine please subscribe and do like and share because it take time to prepare for these presentations and i really appreciate if you just subscribe it a uh, very good resource is a radiopedia and uh, especially for the radiology of chest x ray ct scan and ultrasound to go there and read uh, all the chest x ray finding like a collapse and um, important common ct scan findings then up to date is a very good resource medscape your pulmonology books spiro fishman and all others nowadays youtube is coming a very good source of learning so find out uh, a good channels like uh, like ultrasound i when i was preparing for it i was uh, struggling with an ultrasound so i found a very good channel i'll share it later on so and yeah your seniors uh, the professors consultants who who have already given the exams or the those who are taking the exams during your training they are going to ask you what whatever you are preparing throughout your training years so best of luck and thank you for watching this video